Hey everyone, this is Dylan Ekrin, and today I want to show you a quick tip about how I like to use Spotlight in ZBrush to display and manage my reference images. When you go to the texture palette at the top of the screen, and then down to import, you can bring in a variety of different types of images. So I'm going to do that now. So if I go back to the texture palette, you can see the image that I imported is right here. This is the image I want to work from while I'm sculpting today. So click that image, and then down here at the bottom, you'll see a plus minus button for add to spotlight. Click that button, press the comma key to get rid of light box if that pops up, and you'll see it imports this image into ZBrush's workspace here. And you'll get this little coin with all sorts of different options and tools, such as scale and opacity. ZBrush treats all totally black areas of your image as transparent. So you can use that to your advantage. You'll notice that this image has a lot of gray space in here that's totally wasted and just kind of takes up room. So one thing that I'll do is take this image into Photoshop and bring up the levels on everything a little bit so that only the background is pure black and everything else is at least 10% higher than that. Once I export that image, I'll go back to my texture palette, import that image, and then add to Spotlight, just like we did with the first one. You'll see right off the bat that I get an image with better transparency, but still a lot of weird jagged artifacts. So let me just scale in so you can really see those artifacts there. The way that I'll fix this is by going back into my spotlight settings, clicking on intensity to turn it on, and then just click and drag to dial that wheel a little bit until I kind of eat away at that mask enough that I can work with. And your results may vary depending on the type of artwork that you're using and the type of line work that's in it. But if you scale that image down now. Don't forget to turn off intensity. Now I've got a transparent image that I can just have floating around in my workspace. You'll see the transparency works pretty nicely there. And it doesn't take up any unnecessary space. And as always, anytime you're working with an image in Spotlight, make sure to go into the brush palette, down to samples, and turn off Spotlight projection. Otherwise you won't be able to use any brush that has RGB turned on or the smooth brush while you're sculpting. So a couple quick spotlight commands, shift Z to show and hide spotlight. Once spotlight is shown, press Z to get your little medallion here and move things around and manipulate this image. And then Z again to drop that image onto the canvas and bring you back to your mesh for sculpting. All right, that's it for today. I hope this tip was helpful to you and I'll see you again soon.